India's elderly population that's aged 60 and above is projected to touch 194 million in 2031 and from 138 million in 2021. That's a 41% increase over a decade. This data was according to the National Statistical Office's Elderly in India 2021 report. Now, the study also revealed that the population of elderly in India had been increasing steadily since 1961. There are a lot of concerns around this uh, population that needs our immediate attention and intervention. Now, HelpAge India is a leading nonprofit organization working with and for disadvantaged elderly for nearly four decades. It, has, it advocates for their needs such as quality healthcare, livelihood opportunities, action against elder abuse, and many more. To help us understand more about the subject, we have Sonali Sharma, Head of Communications at HelpAge India with us today. Thank you so much, uh, Sonali, for taking time out of your busy schedule and joining us. Thanks so much, uh, Palak, for having me. Um, I'm, you know, really looking forward to, uh, you know, sharing, uh, you know, uh, like I said, you know, notes with you and, you know, everybody who's watching. Um, I'm just so glad that, you know, uh, that you've decided to talk about this generation because, you know, sometimes they're just forgotten about. And I'm just very glad that we're having this conversation because, you know, dialogue is so important. Right. So my first question to you is, uh, HelpAge India has been in existence for over 40 years. Now, that's something really remarkable for uh, for an NGO. Now, how has this whole experience been all this while? Uh, see, uh, HelpAge has been for about, this is, I think, our 44th year. And uh, it's been an you know, unbelievable journey. The reason I say this because I personally have been a part of this journey for at least well more than half of it is about 22 years myself, and uh, it's you know it started with a little room uh, of about 30 people you know in Delhi, and now today we have about you know 26 offices across the country you know working with people from all you know um, you know different different uh, you know socioeconomic categories. You know we started initially with uh, the aim of helping those people who have nothing, you know who completely have you know. Is in a roti kapda or makan, kuch bhi nahi hai unke paas. So um, I think that has been a huge challenge because the numbers are so huge that whatever one does, you know, it invariably becomes a dip in the ocean. You know, so the and older people, you know, is a you know is a generation that has also evolved over time. People are living longer now. You know, uh, you know, medicine, science has improved so much that you know the average age earlier, you know, about you know 30, 40 years ago, you know, is uh, for an active senior citizen. Is very different from you know the average age of an active senior citizen today. Today, senior citizens live till 90 plus, but they retire at 60. So 60 and 90, tak, you know, 30 years of the life, you know, they are you know at least halfway down. You know, they are still active, you know, but uh, they retire. So, uh, but these are people. When I'm talking about these are people who are probably you know middle class, low middle class uh, people, you know, but people who have been working in the rural sector, in urban slums. These people, 90% of India's uh, elderly population belongs to the unorganized sector. And they have to continue working to, if they have to survive. No choice nahi hai unke paas. So because they uh, have to support themselves, they have to support their family. And uh, it is just hard work because the day they stop, you know, the money stops. And the money stops, you know, then the health problems start and the food stops. It's, it's a vicious circle. So uh, it's a struggle for India's elderly from the beginning. So I think that's a, that's one of the biggest challenges we face to ensure that you know older people live with dignity, you know, for the rest of their lives. And uh, the aim is to empower them, you know, because at the end of the day, uh, with age also uh, you know ailments come, you know it you know um, chronic ailments come. You have diabetes, you have hypertension, you have you know high blood pressure, you know. Um, Cancer becomes, uh, you know, an issue. Palliative care is a need that is huge. You know, you know, everybody is not really, you know, uh, been able to access pension. Uh, so how does one survive? You know, so I think the the challenge is huge from terms of livelihood, from terms of healthcare, from terms of uh, digital connectivity. We still have a long way to go where senior citizens are concerned, and that is both in the rural and urban sector. Mm. Okay. Um, but has there been a silver lining all this while? Yes, there there might be challenges, but over the years, do you think that somewhere you know we have been able to bridge that gap? See, the, the, there's always a silver lining. You know, when they say when you know things, there is the good, then there is the bad. When there is the bad, there is the good. 
Um, the silver lining is, you know, in for example, you know, we at Help Page, we've been pushing for, uh, you know, uh, the national policy on older persons. You know, that came out in 1999, and we are looking at, you know, you know, ha having that implemented at a state level. You know, we're encouraging states to have state policies on older persons because, you know, if you look at the national policy, it covers virtually every single feature from healthcare to livelihoods to uh, social security. You know, all of it. And it is imperative that, you know, it gets implemented. Uh, one of the good things and the bad things that go hand in hand is that, you know, elder abuse was something which was never there or, uh, you know, brought out of the, you know, like they say, you know, bring out the skeletons out of the cupboard. You know, was not talked about in, from the, in the last 10 years, I would say. But uh, it is a reality. It is something that is, uh, unfortunately, it exists even in a country like India. Because elder abuse itself does not really qualify to just, you know, physical abuse or marna pitna. You know, it also, you know, is disrespect, is neglect, you know, neglecting your elderly parent or grandparent, you know, uh, not spending, you know, uh, time if they expect you to spend some time with them, you know, not giving them medicines on time. And uh, of course, there is physical abuse as well. There is, you know, the, again, emotional abuse. You know, there is economic abuse, which is like you'll hear virtually in, every second household in this in at least in the metros you know where you know there is a you know dispute over property you know mm -hmm. and the person who is in the middle of all of it is the older person you know you know there will be sisters fighting brothers fighting you know over property and the older person because like i say you know they love the children they will give away the property in the living years what we at help page we try to do is saying that during your living years do not will your will away you know by all means you know uh, you know do what you want with it, you know, after, you know, um, you know um, after you leave this world. But uh, because once it is out of your hands, you lose the power of independence. Uh, in a lot of cases that come to us, you know, they have been literally thrown out in the streets, disowned by the children once the papers are signed. So that is a hard reality that we're living with. But to counter that, when you say the silver lining, you know, in 2007, you know, the government came out with this, um, you know, uh, senior citizens uh, and parents uh, welfare maintenance act, and the aim of that maintenance act was to empower the senior citizens and to hold their carer responsible for their prime, for their care and well-being. Whether it is your child, whether it is your uh, caregiver, it is their responsibility to look after you in your later years. You know, to look after your you know medical <coughs> needs, your you know your physical you know your physical needs, your make sure that you live a healthy and dignified life to support you because you have done that all your life supporting them and if you don't then you're liable to you know a certain uh, you know jail sentence you are in li you're liable to pay a penalty and uh, the idea i think also of this act was to empower them so that even if they don't take action you know they know that there is this act out there and they can tell their carer tell their child that look if you don't take care of me i can do this I might choose not to do it, but I can do this. I have that power because, you know, with age, there's a lot of vulnerability. They feel, you know, the loss of power, you know, it, it's, it's a, you know, the, the power equation changes within the family unit. And uh, it is important for them to know that they are not alone. And mm -hmm. so, yes, there is the while, you know, it's sad that there has to be an act like this, that in a country like India, which is always valued you know, elderly, you know, held them at a high regard. Tell us more about the challenges that the elderly population faces in the country right now. See, um, I mean, the last two years, everybody's aware, you know, has been very tough across generations. You know, the pandemic was something which was literally unprecedented. You know, we've never seen this kind, you know, of a, literally a precedent set. And um, older people were, I would say, one of the most affected. The reason I say this is because... Uh, see a lot of older people from the rural sector and from the urban sector you know so now there are two different kinds of needs that came across but in covid somewhere you know the needs literally across the two segments really got you know uh, you know sort of became common you know after a certain age let's say in you know in in cities for example where you know if you're a middle class urban elder you know you have a certain set routine after retirement you you know where you go for your morning walk you know, you have your peers, you know, you have your little meetings together, if you know, uh, and for, for, you know, for older people, you, you know, who are not living with their children for it, that matter, 
you know, they go and visit their house, meet the grandchildren, and all of that. With COVID and with the multiple lockdowns that took place, you know, not only were they told that physically they are the most vulnerable, ki sabse zyada kya, kya aapko apna hai, and you cannot step out of the house. Of course, for the lockdown, nobody could step out of the house. But while a lot of the younger generation was engaged with work from home or engaged, you know, uh, you know, with other activities, you know, because they have access, you know, to the internet, to OTT platforms, older people are not that savvy, you know, so they would switch on their TV. When they would switch on the TV, what would they see? Constantly cases of abuse rising every day, uh, cases of COVID uh, rising every day, and uh, they could not go and visit their children. They could not go and meet their grandchildren. Uh, for those who had children living with them, most of them were working from home and they were locked in their own rooms. You know, <coughs> and while they were happy that the children were home, because पहले ये होता था कि बच्चों के पास वक्त नहीं है, office जाते हैं, फिर थके मंदे वापस आते हैं, you know, they're tired. So, you know, they don't get much time, maybe on the weekends. But up to bachche ghar pe baithe. But uh, if you speak to those bachas, they would say that, you know, work from home mein, you know, vakt khatam hi nahi hota hai. We are working till 11 o'clock. We are working till 12 o'clock. It's not like a routine 9 to 5. And for older people, you know, the expectation that ki ab zyada vakt batayenge kyunki ghar pe baithe hai, you know, that is an expectation mm-hmm. to some extent, which, you know, it's safe to say that, you know, was not really fulfilled. In some cases, it probably it was. You know, in fact, you know, we just uh, you know, on, you know, 15th, uh, which is World Elder Abuse Awareness Day, you know, on a day before, on the 14th, we had released a report, uh, which was called Bridge the Gap, you know, Understanding Elder Needs. And uh, one of the things, you know, that the report brought out was that, uh, you know, older people, you know, 79% of elderly feel that their family does not spend enough time with them. And uh, this is, you know, this is interesting because, you um, you know, 82% uh, of elderly are living with their families, you know, and uh, mm-hmm. about if you ask them, Ki aap kya ho? So the, you know, about 59% said, hum hai ki, you know, my family spends more time with me, you know, so mm-hmm. it's something that, you know, tells you that you are, you know, sort of, there is a, you know, there is a crowd, it's not a matter of having people around you, you're still lonely, right? And uh, mm-hmm. in COVID, I think the vulnerability, the physical vulnerability became a huge thing. So anxiety levels were high, because you bar bar news that uh, you know older people are the most vulnerable please be careful you know older people do not step out now okay you then there is that entire mental anxiety you know um, which which came across all generations but for older people communication became an issue now if you're not used to making a video call you're not used to handling a smartphone other than to use it for making a phone call you know you want to see the faces of your children or grandchildren but you don't know how because technically aapke paas wo, Aapko pata nahi hai, aap utne literate nahi ho digitally. So, you know, again, you are going back into your own shell. Aapko kuch online order karna hai. Chalo, thoda khul bhi gaya market. Phir bhi bachche to bol rehte na ki, you know, dadaji, don't take the risk, don't step out. I mean, all for the well-being of the older person. While most, lot of older people were literally trigger happy, they were waiting to step out. You know, some of them would say ki, you know, tang aagaya, bachche bolte bolte ki, yaa mat jau, vaha mat jau. And it, that's become, you know, like a huge, you know, became a huge, huge, uh, sort of curbing environment because they felt that they were being pulled back while probably it was being done for their benefit. But if you put yourself in their shoes for someone who'd be locked in watching only negative news, unable to contact, uh, you know, uh, their own family and friends, unable to step out, you cannot, you don't know, you don't know how to switch and watch OTT, uh, you know, platforms to entertain you. Um, you don't know how to use a smartphone to make a video call. You know, you don't know how to order groceries online. You are still that generation which goes and stands in the line to pay your telephone bill, your bijli ka bill, your pani ka bill. But, now you have to do online. Karna hai. So, you have to do online. You have to do online. So, you have to do your financial status. You have to do bills. You have to do online. You have to do your online account. Check karna ho, but financially, you just online. You don't know how to use. You know, you're scared also. There is that fear that if you have to press your bill, security is an issue. On se khayega mujhko mera agar empty mature ho raha hai, mein kaise check karo? So it was not just it was not just mental mental and physical, the financial issues they had, you know, because they could not access and they were told you can't step out. So फिर आपके पास क्या चारा रह जाएगा? You know what do you do? So for them it was being pulled literally from different corners. The impact of you know being on your own or being vulnerable was hugely highlighted during COVID, and uh, that was. That was a huge challenge. Another thing was 
you know, we, we had taken out a report uh, in the first year of COVID in 2020, where two things that came out were that among the, for example, you know, let's say the poor older people. Okay, people, like I said, 90% of older people still have to work in order to survive. A lot of them lost their livelihood, their jobs. Yeah. Uh, you know, whether you were, you know, truck drivers, whether you were, you know, petty labor, whether you were sitting on the footpath selling wares, you know, could be anything that you're selling, everything had to be packed up in the lockdown. Everybody's heard of the mass migration that happened of the youth. But older people, older people did not have the capacity to walk down to another state. To a large extent. So unka rosy roti to gaya. Rosy roti gaya to khana pina gaya. To dawai to bohat dur ki baat hai. Jab aapke paas basics nahi hai. To aap kaise deal karoge. Or jin ke paas bachche the. For example an older person who is bedridden. You know that particular person. Is dependent on that working labor on his child. Who probably is doing sitting and putting up that dukan. You know on you know on the street. और उसकी दुकान भी तो बंद हो गई तो अगर आप काम कर रहे हैं आपकी दुकान बंद हो गई अगर आपका बेटा या आपकी बहू या आपकी बेटी काम कर रही है यू नो दे हैव लॉस्ट देयर लाइवलीहुड सो इट बिकेम अ ह्यूज ह्यूज चैलेंज फॉर देम फॉर इवन मीटिंग यू नो डेली नीड्स आई रिमेंबर दैट यू नो व्हेन यू नो व्हेन वी वर वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस व्हेन कोविड हैपेंड टू स्टेप आउट ड्यूरिंग द लॉकडाउन देयर वाज अ लॉट ऑफ फियर इन यू नो अक्रॉस यू नो इट वाज फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम वी वर इन अ डिजास्टर व्हिच वाज ऑन गोइंग Normally, what happens? There's disaster, there's floods, there's tsunami, there's cyclone. The disaster happens. Everything, you know, there's huge destruction and loss. You step out and you start relief work. But this was an ongoing disaster. Still is, to some extent, you know. Jiska khatam hone ka naam nahi hai. Jiska kisi ko ata pata nahi hai ki kab khatam hoga. Vaccine tab shuru me kab aega. You know, will there be a medicine for this at all? So the uncertainty, the unsurety of that. How long am I going to be unemployed? How long am I not going to have food on the table? How long am I not going to have medicine? How long am I going to be locked in? You know, it. There were no answers to these questions, and in all of this, you know, when there is hope at the end of the tunnel, तो ये चाह होती है कि you know जीने की कि चलो ये वक्त भी बीत जाएगा. पर आपको पता ही नहीं है कि ये वक्त कब बीतेगा. You know, so where that for for us it was a huge challenge because you were dealing with physical, mental, financial struggles of elderly. From all angles, and I remember uh, when we went, I stepped out, you know, in the first few, you know, weeks, pura, you know, as in Sheher Sunsan tha, because it was a lockdown, and I remember going to the location to distribute food and ration, and I met this lady who didn't have a child, very sweet looking, you know, elderly lady, you know, pink dupatta pena wa tha, mujhe bhi bhi yaad hai, and I just asked her ki, ma, apne, you know, kab khaya tha? She like, beta, three days pehle khaya tha. अभी तो एक ग्लास दूध किसी तरह से एक ग्लास दूध से हर दिन में गुजारा कर रही हूँ कुछ नहीं है जो जब यू नो जब डिजास्टर होता है और जब रिलीफ ट्रक्स आते हैं यू शुड वॉच वॉट हैपन्स ऑल द यंगर एंड एबल बॉडी पीपल दे रन टू पिक अप द राशन बुजुर्ग तो भाग नहीं सकते ना पर ये हमेशा इंटरेस्टिंग होता है जब आप बुजुर्ग को एक राशन देते हो एक पूरा एक राशन का किट देते हो जिसमें आटा चावल दाल सब कुछ होता है सॉल्ट शुगर ऑयल वो घर जाएगा या जाएगी और अपने पूरे परिवार को डिस्ट्रीब्यूट करेंगी मनो बेटा बेटी पोता पोती सबको इक्वल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन होता है बिकॉज द लव for all across the family is equal but sometimes when you're very very poor or destitute and the same thing is given to a slightly younger and able bodied and he has a suffering you know two year old inf- you know two month old infant who has an eaten and he has an 80 plus year old father and the food food ration is about limited sometimes you're forced to make a choice but that's a choice that if for an older person that never comes you know so in some ways when you even help an older person you end up helping the family you know right. so um for older people it's you know the challenge is always 10 times more yeah that that was such a such a beautiful and important thing that you said that you know when you help in early you are you're basically helping an entire family that is something that you know each one of us should keep in mind now i also want to understand the ways in which you know help age is helping this 
the senior citizens in living a dignified life? What are the initiatives that you guys have undertaken? See, uh, see, I think you know. I mean, you know, like I said, you know, Helpish was really born in 1978, really, and. Over time, you know, we have, you know, we have grown. You know, I mean, our, um, you know, our mission statement says working for disadvantaged older people. So, uh, you know, we run a variety of programs for senior citizens because we realize that, you know, there's such multiple issues with them that, you know, to, for having one single particular program or project for them is never going to cover it. So, while you know, we always look at, you know, first looking at, you know, those who have nothing and no one, no support. Mm -hmm no uh, you know no support for food no support for medicine so we have a very robust you know healthcare program this is basically run through we have you know about i would say about 166 mobile healthcare units so these are basically what we call uh, health on wheels you know they chote chote gaon mein jaate hain remote areas mein jaate hain urban slums mein jaate hain where we virtually go to the doorsteps of you know older persons you know ek site hoti hai wahan pe hamari jo vehicle hai is parked and you know and, and the older people come there and, you know, uh, for their, you know, medication, for the treatment, all of this is, of course, free for them. And it's on a weekly basis. So there is monitoring. So you know, ek bar aap aay, aapko bataya ki aapki ye problem hai. And then, you know, we are out of that space. So they're all given a patient, a beneficiary card, jaha pe, uh, you know, so that the doctor has an entire, uh, you know, chronology of what has been the history of the particular patient. So um, these mobile healthcare vans, you know, for them are a huge relief because if you speak to some of the older people, you know, at these sites, you know, they would say, jo, for example, the primary healthcare center, the nearest hospital, is a lot of distance. I can't go there. I don't have money that I can take a vehicle or a bus and go there. So, your van is coming to my home. So, for, my, for me, for, for them, it is health at their doorstep. So, plus, you know, over time, you know, the doctor and the pharmacist and even the driver of the van, you know, become family for them because bar -bar ho, to wo unko virtually wo unke pote -pote ban jate because you know you, it's the same face you see what is interesting is sometimes we see older people who've been coming to our mobile healthcare vans you know they become part of you know the empowered individual who helps uh, you know spread the message in their community saying ki dekho ye buzurg ki sansta ki ek vehicle aa rahi hai agar tumhe koi problem hai to maa jao main help kar dunga tumko register karne mein so it becomes you know in, in a lot of ways you know it it's literally, you know, helping people who a, cannot afford to physically go to a particular place. Also, a lot of them don't have the money. Jaha pe aapka daily living is such a need. Aap, you know, you're getting free health care. You know, why would you go somewhere jaha po itni dur tak jana pade? Aapko wahan pe uh, paise dene pade, line mein khada hona pade. Ye to buzurgo ke liye hi priority van hai. It's elders and community. So we were always prioritizing our mobile health care vans or units, you know, MHUs like we call them. You know, would actually go and do awareness sessions. You know, sort of tell them, ah, please, apne hath doye, pani se hath doye, ap thoda social distancing rakhiye. You know, ye agar hua symptoms hai, to ye jag ye hai, jo apko, you know, these are the thick symptoms that you need to be, you know, conscientious of. So a lot of them, you know, it, so we use these mobile healthcare vans also as awareness units, not only about COVID, even about diseases. Agar apka blood pressure ho, what are the symptoms? Agar apko BP ho, you know, ap kya kar sakte hai? So uh, it's so it's sort of you know making them aware. It's sort of you know it also becomes you know uh, during COVID time some of our uh, mobile healthcare units you know they became virtually like you know patient ambulances. They would just transfer people you know lockdown ke time pe. Ab kahan le jaoge? Koi bazaar slum mein baitha ho, kaun sa baitke kisi private hospital ko call karega, right? Or usko he needs that attention. So um, you know it becomes like a multifaceted you know uh, unit for healthcare basic healthcare for the elderly and the community and of course you know we have that is one program under this healthcare program cat track restoration of vision is a huge thing zyadatar aankhon ki jo problem hoti hai comes with later life right mm -hmm. and um, cat track is a huge problem and it just takes you know a few uh, you know like i said you know just a few hundred and thousand rupees to fix a cat track surgery but uh, a lot of older people don't treat it. And with older people, what happens, especially, you know, people who are struggling to survive, the minute they go to their eyes, they become their livelihood. You know, I remember, you know, meeting this you know, gentleman who was in a tea shop, you know, he used to run, uh, you know, and uh, Ram Kumar, I remember his name. And uh, he said that my eyes were closed, I had to close my tea shop. 
लग मेरी चाय की दुकान बंद हो गई ना पैसा है ना कुछ है मैं क्या करूंगा मैं देख नहीं सकता हूँ मैं चल नहीं सकता हूँ मैं क्या करूंगा सो बट द मिनट हिज आईज कैटरा रिस्टोर इज विजन ही गॉट बैक टू वर्क इज लाइवलीहुड केम बैक सो देर इज दैट सेंस ऑफ यू नो सेंस ऑफ डिग्निटी एंड रिस्पेक्ट you know of earning that comes back when you restore somebody's vision of course there is that emotional connect saying ki kam se kam main apne pote pote ki shakal to dekh sakta hu pehle to wo bhi nahi kar sakta tha so i think restoration of vision restoration of vision is another program that you know help it india you know conducts uh, you know through established uh, you know uh, hospitals and partners you know these particular surgeries so um, i think till about now we must have done 9 to 10 lakh surgeries across india and um, uh, while that's that's one you know that's one side you know like i said you know that's health care but there's a huge other issue you know which one looks at is age care when i'll say age care you're looking at people a lot of times if you're driving around you will see older people abandoned on the streets older people begging older people you who look like they have probably not eaten in days you know uh, but a lot of these people are abandoned a lot of them suffer from dementia and alzheimers अगर आप उनसे पूछेंगे भी आप कौन हो उनको उनका नाम भी नहीं याद रहेगा यू नो हेल्प एज इंडिया यू नो यू नो रन नेशनल हेल्पलाइन ओके वन एट हंड्रेड वन एट जीरो वन टू फाइव थ्री अक्रॉस अबाउट यू नो सेवेंटीन स्टेट्स इन इंडिया एंड रिसेंटली इट हैज टाइड अप विथ यू नो विद द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इन एंड अबाउट सिक्स टू सेवन स्टेट्स यू नो वी नाउ आई हैव बिकम द इम्प्लीमेंटिंग पार्टनर फॉर द एल्डर लाइन you know this is a fantastic initiative uh, you know run by the government through the elder line you know it uh, and you know the help uh, helpline for that matter you know uh, you know we look at you know uh, we receive tremendous amount of calls especially when with the tie up with the elder line uh, you know calls of people who are you know older people uh, from older people from good samaritans you know a call would come saying i have seen this person for the last 3 days at this red light you know looking you know completely in a destitute state kuch kar sakte hain aap you know sometimes there are family members who will call us saying i'm you know i can't locate my father you know uh, he just walked out of the house i have not been able to locate him you know there'll be older people who will say mera beta ya mera bahu mujhe harass kar rahe hain property ke liye main kya karu you know sometimes somebody says mujhe pension nahi mil rahi hai you know uh, koi form hai kya bharna padta hai process kya hai you know um, or somebody needs legal advice you know so uh, you know the the elder line uh, you know really caters to these calls you know and and it is a you know the the return uh, you know the i mean literally the call to action has to be within 24 48 hours you know that we have to look and close that particular uh, you know uh, call for that matter so our people are there on the you know on you know on the ground they go they will find that person speak to that person if a person has no way to go then we you know sort of you know uh, guide them and say help them settle into an old age home uh you know helpage itself has about you know six old age homes that it uh, that is helpage old age homes but it is also connected with over 300 homes it supports across the country you know and uh, you know with now the government and the elder line you know uh, it's become you know a uh, far easier you know in this outreach you know because you know there is the police involved you know there is identification sometimes there is extensive abuse you know so uh, the helpline is a core core function because it is very important for an older person to know that there is that there is a number that is just for them to call in their time of need yeah. things things like the parents maintenance act the mm-hmm. act i was talking about abuse you know we were when we did this uh, world elder abuse awareness day report one of the things about i think 46% of older people said we don't know of any redressal mechanism in the case of abuse and that was shocking because agar aap aware hi nahi hai ki ek act hai aapke liye what action will you take and how will you ever feel empowered so a large part of you know what helpage india does is also to inform and make them aware you know it is their prerogative whether they choose to do it or not because a lot of older people will not take action against their own family member it kuch nahi hota galti se ho gaya maaf kar do but um, so i think the elder line uh, is a critical feature you know project that you know uh, that we run along with of course like the helpage helpline in the other 17 states like i mentioned of course there is then there is a uh, old age homes which i mentioned mm-hmm. so um, where we look at you know covid was very critical so we used to monitor all the residents ke old age you know old age homes mein this temperature the bp there is a full system in place so that you know they feel that they are taken care of because old age homes mein bhi jo log rehte hain 
समटाइम्स देर ऑल्सो यू नो यू टू स्टेप आउट बट लॉकडाउन में उनको भी बोला गया था आप बाहर नहीं जा सकते हो यू नो सो दैट सेंस ऑफ कीपिंग दम इंगेज यू नो डूइंग एक्टिविटीज विद दैम इट्स वेरी वेरी क्रिटिकल देर इज ऑफकोर्स यू नो केयर गिवर ट्रेनिंग केयर गिवर ट्रेनिंग इज ऑल्सो यू नो वे वी हेल्प यंगर पीपल लर्न हाउ टू टेक केयर ऑफ एन ओल्डर पर्सन हु नीड्स फिजिकल एंड मेंटल अटेंशन सो आई डोट नो इफ यू यू अवेयर दैट यू नो इन कोविड एन अ लॉट ऑफ you know middle class and upper middle class families you know having an attendant or a nurse for your elderly parent is very common but you know for people who cannot afford it you know or even people who are looking as jobs as caregivers you know unko pata nahi ki kaise karte hain caregiving so i think this is a need which is hugely there you know so i think there is there is in under age care all of these you know sort of features come in and of course then there is a uh, livelihood you know when you were talking about dignity <coughs> yeah. dignity of older people mean there is this you know concept of elder self help groups and uh, this was born you know quite a few years ago you know and helpish was a catalyst because pehle you know women self help groups hote the elder mm-hmm. self help groups ka koi concept hi nahi tha but looking at that model you know we decided you know that we will you know form elder self help groups where older people in largely particularly in rural india we empower them you know we get them together form these groups and you know initial hand holding hota hai and uske baad these groups become independent entities they open their own bank accounts in the village you know jab koi kisi ki shaadi hoti hai ya funeral hota hai ya uh, somebody is born ya koi bhi event hota hai you know wo buzurg aayega you know gaon se to that particular committee of you know elder, elder self help group for older people jise ki mujhe ek aath lagar loan de denge mere ghar mein ye ho raha hai um, you know so if you can help me out you know of course i will you know return it and it's elders literally for elders helping within the village you know and it becomes for that particular group of people who earlier felt ki ab main kya karu ya kya karungi it became they became catalyst for helping other people in need they even things like you know they, this is you know a fish full of grain you meet mutthi bhar chawal agar aap paise nahi de sakte there will be would be this you know uh, this space where you would come and take one mutthi or chawal that family would come and put it in that grain box and that agar har ek banda from the village started putting that mutthi bhar chawal in that you know during a crisis you have a stock with you you know right. so while you can't return maybe in cash maybe you can return in kind you can borrow in kind and these elder self help groups because even though they were poor themselves but they started becoming self sustaining so koi kabhi koi dal mill khol deta tha koi saadi ki dukan khol deta tha wo deti thi you know ya koi uh, you know for example would open a small petty shop so if they would have the choice these individual members in the group to even have their own livelihoods abhi haal hi mein in covid you know a group of elderly women and you know it's a fantastic story they decided to make covid mass so they mm-hmm. we help them get them it you know icg uh, uh, you know trained how to make the full head mask and all of that and then they started selling those masks so it became like a little small gao me little enterprise apni uh, sewing machine jo you know we helped you know provide them with the sewing machine karke volunteers ke sath kapdo ke sath mask banana shuru kar diya and then they started you know distributing it among their own villages then they started selling it so it becomes you know then there is masala making there is agarbatti making you know these are little little um, you know uh, active you know livelihood uh, you know opportunities that they have which they keep the intrinsic organic india you know in place at the same time you know they empower themselves and their community so, uh, mm. so i think for us it's a huge huge direct connect you know livelihood and there were more, more than 8000 elder self help groups that you know uh, help engineers help set up and you know it's it's fantastic and it's you know every time inspiring to see ki jinke paas kuch nahi hai wo kitna kuch kar sakte hain and covid ke time pe to jinke paas kuch nahi tha wo wo jo destitute aur akele rehte the unke gaon mein unke ghar ghar mein jaake ration dete the khud bhi unke paas zyada kuch nahi hai par jinke paas aur bhi kuch nahi tha unke liye jaate the to i think bahut bada dil jigar chahiye hota hai and plus it's a, it's it's a lot of um, you know self worth i think that comes so i think that is from from uh, from from that particular point of view uh i think the elder self help group program the income and livelihood program you know like we call it uh for help which is very very critical because there are many amazing stories out there while that is one program for the urban elders that is the senior citizens you know in cities for example you know who we are for example help which is connected to over 5000 senior citizen associations over the last few years we work with some of them on a regular basis you know unke sath unko hota hai ki मेरे मेरे बच्चे के पास टाइम नहीं है मुझे स्मार्टफोन से खाना तो यू नो वी लॉर्ड ऑफ आर लर्निंग कम्स फ्रॉम आप बताइए आपको क्या चाहिए 
so and covid made the like i mentioned made this even more prominent we started digital literacy classes we even started online uh, uh, digital literacy classes which was ironic because humne socha tha initially ki online kaise aayenge jab humko pata hi nahi hai online ke bare mein par you know what what happen is unka bachcha ya beta jo work from home kar raha hai would set it up and just go back to this work this meeting i would like acha aap entertain karo to ek bar meeting hone jaate hai to wo aa jate hain and they would learn aur unse agar aap puchoge ki uncle aunty aapko kya seekhna hai to bolenge pehle to aap mujhe batao mera bank account main apne bank account ko check kaise karu phir batao mujhe bijli aur pani ka bill kaise check karna hai so you know social media you, you know youtube and all of this the entertainment section came a little lower in the radar but they would be like please tell me how to video call mujhe apne pote se baat karni hai you know how do i online beta mujhe apne bete se baat nahi karni ab to lockdown khul gaya hai mujhe apne dost se jaake milna hai yaar ye ola uber ko kaise order karte hain to kaise karte hain wo app kaise download karte hain so we had a full curriculum on digital literacy for senior citizens in doing for the last uh, you know uh, you know 7 8 years and uh, mm-hmm. we carried that on through the pandemic because that was one major gap that was there you know and a uh, lot of younger people you know they honestly you you know i mean they love their parents and <coughs> but they love their grandparents but they lose patience so kitna ek bar sikhaya do bar sikhaya and older people get very scared are beta pata nahi galti se button press ho gaya i don't know kya screen khul gaya you know the person would you know teach the father or the mother or that and they said abhi to bataya hai ab fir se batana padega you know mm-hmm. so after three or four tries the younger person starts losing his or her patience and then it's it's in the tone it's not mm-hmm. that the child doesn't love you but it's in the tone you start losing you know and older people pick up तो देख सके नहीं बेटा अच्छा नहीं लगता पूछने के लिए थोड़ा सा ना इम्पेशेंट हो जाते हैं आप ही बता दो ना कैसे करते हैं तो दैट इज समथिंग विच एंड यू नो इट इट्स समथिंग विच कट्स अवे एट दिग्निटी बिकॉज एट वन गिवन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम दे वर द हेड ऑफ द फैमिली एंड द न्यू एवरीथिंग नाउ अ फाइव ईयर ओल्ड चाइल्ड नोज हाउ टू यूज अ स्मार्टफोन राइट सो दैट नहीं समझ आता अच्छा कुछ सुना है कुछ इंस्टाग्राम नाम की कोई चीज है अच्छा हाँ कुछ ट्विटर शुटर है यू नो व्हेन यू टॉक टू देम दिस इज हाउ दे विल रिस्पॉन्ड तो दे 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 हां वो कुछ है ना तुम्हारा हार्ड कॉपी सॉफ्ट कॉपी क्या कहते हो तो देयर देयर अंडरस्टैंडिंग यू नो सडनली दे आर नो लोंगर द पीपल हु नो इट ऑल एंड दे फील दैट एंड दे फील दैट लिटिल सेंस ऑफ डिसरिस्पेक्ट फ्रॉम द चिल्ड्रन बिकॉज़ द चिल्ड्रन हैव ग्रोन द जनरेशन हैज ग्रोन अप इन दीस गैजेट्स राइट वी हैव दे वर नॉट at the age of 60 you are expecting them to start learning all over again yeah you know and if because once there is digital literacy you know palak there is also social inclusion you feel yeah. apart you can you know what are you going to talk to your you know 10 year old grandchild wo bhi saath mein smartphone baith ke dadu ke saath ya dadi ke saath baith ke dikhayega na ki aise karte hain waise karte hain so but jab wo grasping power or understanding nahi hai senior citizen mein the disconnect happens आपको एक व्हाट्सएप में जोक फॉरवर्ड करना है अपने दादू को पर दादू को पता ही नहीं है कैसे व्हाट्सएप करते हैं द यू नो द इमोशनल एंड सोशल इंक्लूजन दैट हैपेंस व्हेन यू मेक देम डिजिटली लिटरेट इज नॉट जस्ट अबाउट नोइंग हाउ टू डू इट इट्स अबाउट हाउ इट कनेक्ट्स यू विद द यू नो विद विद द आउटसाइड वर्ल्ड विद योर द फाइनेंशियल वर्ल्ड विद द न्यूज़ वर्ल्ड विद द एंटरटेनमेंट वर्ल्ड विद योर फैमिली एंड योर फ्रेंड्स एंड कीप्स यू कांस्टेंटली एंगेज्ड इमेजिन अ पर्सन हु इज बेडरिडन कैन नॉट वर्क कैन नॉट डू एनीथिंग एंड ही ओनली हैज अ फोन इन हिज हैंड that is his window to the outside world you know aap kya karoge so i think digital literacy is a huge thing that we you know we work with innocent associations we also teach them how about awareness about the maintenance act you also tell them about you know financial investments a lot of time ke 60 saal ke baad aap kya karte ho if you have if you have invested you know well great you have enough savings but you know how should you plan your uh, uh, you know you know financial journey in the later years to sustain you you know how do you make a will you know what are the things that you should keep in mind you know like i said do not will your will away during your living years apne haath mein rakho jo aapke paas hai de do jisko dena hai you know pyar mohabbat sab kuch theek hai but it is your hard earned money and why should older people always sacrifice right kahi likha to nahi hai na ye aapka job hai aapko apni needs hamesha piche rakhni hai you know so i think it's 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 a matter of balance you know where you know both generations need to work together because at the end of the day you know one thing that the younger generation forgets is jaisa karoge waisa bharoge you know you are going to get there and agar ab aapke bacche aapke sath jab ye karenge na to tab lagega hmm right young generation ki baat ho rahi hai so i have to ask, ask this question ki how can you know 
we look after the aging parents in a better manner how can we ensure that we put a stop to whatever is happening or improve the situation what what are the steps that we I can think, take um, uh, i think palav i think the younger generation has immense amount of power maximum power i would say wo duniya badal sakte hain because this is the generation of startups this is the generation which also are making gadgets for older people matlab soch to rahe hain you know this is the generation which can you know for telling somebody who is in the late 80s and 90s aap ab badlo thoda difficult hoga par agar aap jo 30s mein hai 20s mein hai 40s mein hai aap unko bolo ki you know think about it from this from their perspective see maybe you can make some change you know a simplest change is spend more time with them you know it's a simplest thing you know sometimes we say you don't want to, you know you don't want to donate money but donate your time because aapke wo jo 5 minute ya 10 minute ya aadha ghanta jo aap unke sath bitate so it's a world for them you know when you spend that time learn so much from their life you know there's so much to learn from their experience and their life experiences teach them how to use the phone teach them you know digitally train them and it can be fun you know digitally train them at the end of the day aapke sath hi connect honge na and you know also like i said you know obviously looking after them it's something that you know we believe is given you know that you know you have to look after your parents yaar yeah? i mean there is no there is no option matlab wo to mujhe samajh nahi aata hai ki bhaiya there is an option you know in whatever capacity it doesn't mean you have to live with them if you're living with them fantastic if you're not for whatever the reason is you know like i said you know keep a tab on them visit them call them video call them you know spend time with them teach them teach them digital literacy teach them financial how to go on the online site make how to book an uber you know because when they say that you know you you know train the person on how to fish hmm. you know you know you know it's you know literally train that person on how to fish because then after that wo khud karenge and older people you know it's very very interesting that you know humne jab abhi um, uh, ye survey kiya tha to 40% you know of older people said they want to learn new things so imagine we are at that age kitna jigar hai to saying acha chalo kuch naya seekhte hain so you know i think the you know there is a inherent ageism you know which is prevalent in most of society and i think at you know all of us at some point of time probably have practiced it you know in the sense ab rehne do nahi hoga aapse kuch nahi hota aap mujhko de do main kar dunga kya kar dungi you know and uh, the perception ki ab kya seekhenge ab to 60 saal ho gaya you know that perception you know that you know lot of the older people you know in fact you know i think about uh, i think about 47% of older people you know are dependent on their family for the income source so imagine the kind of expectation they have from their family members you know to uh, you know uh, you know to survive so there is a huge amount of you know dependency on them you know so i think there is and there is a huge amount of older people you know who want uh, you know when we ask them ki acha you know humne pucha tha ki uh, aapko lagta hai ki elder abuse hai humne older person se pucha ab hmm. abuse ek aisi cheez hai which is unlike crime wo ghar ki char dewari ke andar hi hota hai ya aap neighbor ho aur aapne kuch sun liya right hmm. so 59% of older people said that han ji older elder abuse is prevalent in society hmm. to humne jab pucha theek hai uh, aap bataiye have you gone through it how would you know right it is not a new piece of crime news that you see in the paper or on the news how would you know till you have gone through it or you have heard it right yeah. only 10% said i have been a victim of abuse wow. and for that you know was an eye opener because in india family honor ghar ki baat ghar ke andar chhode and kuch nahi hota apna bachcha hai haath udh gaya you know ho jata hai beta kuch nahi hota bahut kaam karta hai you know the amount of excuses that we make that elderly make for their family you know is is huge and i and i think that is something that you know older people need you know that incul you know that sort of expectation ki you know because they are the parents or the grandparents you know you know it is you know it's okay to put their child's needs first or their carers needs first you know for it is very important for uh, the younger generation to understand how much they are important for them because unke liye to unka bachcha hero hai so you know and at the end of the day they are the ones who are going to be there for you right 
you know and uh, i think that is and a lot of the younger generation you know one of the most popular you mentioned it that you know our most popular program was our school action for value education which is we call it the safe program and um, it is because jo pota poti jab aap chote hote ho na aur aapke jo nana nani dada dadi wo jo relationship hota na it is so beautiful you know humne abhi ek bridge the gap campaign kiya tha abhi uh, you know 14th june ko jab humne ek din mark kiya tha and where we said we told lot all the children all the young adults that you know you go to your dada dadi or your nana nani whoever is your favorite elder could be the driver uh, you know could be the security guard outside your flat or your you know or your community and you just you know join hands with them it's sort of like a high five but not a high five but the our aim was to bridge the gap right, right. and uh, it was just hilarious because you know the older people like ye kya kar rahe ho mm-hmm. but hua kya you were forced to go and spend that 2 minutes with the older person so that you could send you know us that picture or post it on your social media you know to do it and the older person just found it you know so funny and so cute and so engaging ki acha chalo main kuch kar raha hu iske campaign ke liye aur you know they would just participate so the it's such a beautiful relationship and you know youngsters i have seen to younger generation hai na which is not the non the adults and the teenage generation the below that generation that generation you know they will fight for the dadu वो तो अपने माँ बाप को भी दो चीजें सुना देंगे कि आपने इनका बर्थडे बोल रहे हैं या आप आ, ऐसे कैसे बात कर सकते हो यू नो बिकॉज यू आर फेवरेट ओके व्हाट हैपेंस इज़ फॉर द ग्रैंड पेरेंट दैट फेवरेटिज्म नेवर चेंजेस बट इट डज चेंज फॉर द यंगर पर्सन विद टाइम एंड समटाइम्स यू नो फॉर आस इट्स ऑलवेज सॉर्ट ऑफ सींग ब्रिंगिंग दैम बैक टू दैट मेमरी जब आई वॉज सींग नॉट यू नो वी आर लुकिंग एट यू नो डूंग यू नो वी डू कैंपेन विद यंगर पीपल the aim is to remember just remember mm-hmm. that you know because aap ho you know you are the reason what makes them smile you know and and i think younger people have immense power in teaching them in empowering them in informing them you know and besides looking after them you know and uh, encouraging them you know i had lot, you know we've had we've met some fantastic you know young young adults you know uh, you know young working adults you know young teenagers who just want to go out there and spend time with older people who want to go and you know be them who want to be their friend you know we have this program called hug help unite generations concept wahan se shuru hua tha ki you know the symbolically of course it is go and give a hug to an older person for no reason aap baithe ho ek din suddenly out of the blue you go and hug your dadu or you know suddenly you're a young adult huh? you're not a 5 year old child and the dadu will be like aaj aaj maine kya kiya ki mujhko ye hug mil gaya but it breaks into a smile it breaks that barrier if you don't know that person it's an uncle in your you know in, in your uh, like i said you know in your park aapke jo senior citizens ki jo you know groups hote hain jab aap jaate ho ya aapka favorite uncle around you know you become their friend take them out for a cup of coffee what is stopping you take them out for a movie surprise kar lo let you be their emergency call number if tomorrow god forbid they have a fall yeah kaise jayenge agar aap akele reh rahe ho to kisko phone karenge wo their child let's say if they don't have children you are the only sole contact point so it's your hug friend literally you you know help your agent you're a hug volunteer you keep telling people find your hug you know find your hug elder you know and you know connect because uh, you know what you can do for older people nobody can do there's so much power and we have such amazing you know lot of younger people doing such amazing work and um, so i think that you know i mean there is there's nothing that they cannot do so yeah, uh, yeah. i think i just um... It, all the points that you have mentioned are, are just so basic, and you know one can easily do it. And this is something that that should come naturally to us. We shouldn't even be you know, told to do this, but somehow you know. Well, that's what happens. Right you know, I remember I was talking to somebody who was working, you know, who was a journalist, and you know, mm-hmm. you know, some of them have very very hard hours. There's no time. Kabi ab raat ko do baje aate ho, kabi aapki night shift hoti hai. Alag alag, you know, I mean, a lot of uh, you know uh, jobs have that, right? so sometimes you are so you know dead tired par usse kaha ki you know main aaya aur i live alone with my mother my father is no more and uh, i came home and i had a very bad day very bad day i you know saw some horrific case or whatever it was and i just wanted to go and just switch off from the negativity that i was exposed to and just unwind at home i came home and i just went straight to my room and i just shut the door and i just wanted to sleep what happened is when he came home His mother was still awake. और पूरे दिन वेट कर रही थी खाना बना के रखा हुआ था पर उसने बोल दिया माँ अभी आप आई डोंट नो द टाइम आई यू नो कल देख लेंगे एंड 
बट ही डिड नॉट लुक बैक टू सी द लुक ऑन हर फेस यू नो एंड शी अंडरस्टूड की बेटा काम कर रहा है बट बट इट्स द लिटिल थिंग्स यू नो लाइक यू इन द मिडल ऑफ अ जूम कॉल और यूर मिडल ऑफ सम अदर कॉल यू नो एंड अ कॉल कम सिंग अच्छा मैं भी बिजी हूँ मैं बाद में कॉल करूंगा Hmm. And after that, you forget that you had just said that I'll call you back. Yeah. So that is the little thing. Yeah. 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 And you know that just, I mean, I had no words. You know, it's just it's sad that uh, you know that you know that is there. But you know, I feel that while there is that, younger people, you know, have been doing. They were the ones who were out there volunteering during during disasters. They are the ones who are going out. We had people, younger people, during the lockdown, going door to door delivering medicines. You know, we had tied up with a volunteer uh, organization at the point of time. So there is just so much that they can do. They are doing. अपने घर से शुरू करोगे तो फिर कहाँ कहाँ नहीं जा सकते they yes. can just contribute their time and you know to solve any any social problem whether it is you know working with the elderly or even for the environment or for maybe lgbtq community so these are the things that need to be worked on and it's it's not just the money that counts it's the time also you're investing your time or you're investing your skills because you know palak there is a, you know there is they say that you know while money can buy a lot of things you can mm-hmm. buy you know you can buy as much amount of material goods you know द टाइम दैट जो वक्त होता है ना वो उन्हीं दो या जो इंडिविजुअल है उनके लिए यूनिक होता है वो वक्त वही होता है यू नो इट्स ऑलवेज यूनिक द टाइम यू स्पेंड इट्स नेवर रिपीटेड इट्स अन लाइक अ गिफ्ट आई माइट गिव यू अ मक टूडे आई माइट गिव यू अनदर मक टूमोरो यू नो आई एम स्टिल गिविंग द मक बट द टाइम दैट आई स्पेंड विद यू यू नो विल ऑलवेज रिमेन यूनिक बिकॉज दैट मोमेंट दोज डायलॉग दैट कॉन्वर्सेशन विल नेवर बी बी रिपीटेड वर्ड टू वर्ड अगेन सो वक्त यू नो टाइम हैज अज huge huge factor to play you know in you know and it is priceless mm, yes uh, this brings me towards the end of the conversation and my last question uh, what would be your message to the people who are watching us your your last remarks i think my message uh, you know to the people who are watching is that you know spend time with uh, you know with the elderly at home with your dada dadi nana nani uh, empower them teach them how to use uh, you know their smartphones uh, how to you know do online banking whatever you know even maybe browse through youtube or you know through google search you know anything it is very very important that uh, you know that time exchange happens between you and you know come forward and you know contribute contribute to you know uh, organizations you which are doing good for those people who have nothing you know you might still be having something but always remember there is someone out there इनके पास कुछ नहीं है ना खाने के लिए कुछ है ना दवाई के लिए कुछ है सो देर आर लॉट ऑफ गुड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आउट देर यू नो डोनेट सपोर्ट यू नो यू नो टू देम यू नो एंड इट्स बिकॉज लाइक आई सेड यू नो वेन गुडनेस ऑलवेज कम्स बैक यू नो एंड यू नो देर इज टू बी आई रिमेंबर फिल्म विच हैड कम लॉन्ग टाइम बैक एंड वन ऑफ द थिंग्स अबाउट द पर्टिकुलर फिल्म वॉज इट वॉज कॉल्ड पेट फॉरवर्ड यू डू समथिंग गुड that person will further on go and do something good for another person if we can make a world which is paying it forward where goodness and time and you know a support is concerned the world would be a such such a better place of course it is going to have a ripple effect and um, the goodness is going to come back that that's the whole idea of giving so um, sonali thank you so much for joining us it was a pleasure to have you i mean i had uh, we had such a beautiful um, and insightful conversation i'm so full of you know Uh, so many thoughts and um, thank you so much for this thanks so much palak thank you so much for having me